Hi, my name is Dr. Brian Sizdek. I'm a psychologist and the product manager at Stolting. We're a publisher of psychological assessments and have been for over 130 years. I'd like to give you a little information today about us and about some of the products that we offer. One of our most popular products is the Lighter 3. It is a completely nonverbal test that assesses cognitive, attention, and memory abilities. Why might you want a nonverbal assessment? A nonverbal assessment could be useful for any of the following reasons. If the person has communication issues, this could include speaking the primary language as a secondary language, having a hearing or communication difficulties, or having autism amongst many other reasons. The student may have high verbal skills, which may mask an underlying cognitive issue. Having a nonverbal test allows you to focus on the cognitive issues. You may wish to focus on nonverbal skills. Many intelligence tests are heavily weighted by verbal abilities. This nonverbal testing allows you to focus on other skills. Nonverbal tests have been shown to reduce bias. Verbal skills and socioeconomic status are shown to be heavily related. So using nonverbal tests creates a more level playing ground. So why is the lighter three a good choice for a nonverbal test? The Lighter 3 has been recently normed and is current with current demographics using a large nationally representative sample. Included in that normative sample were many specific clinical groups with whom you may wish to use a nonverbal test, including those who spoke English as a second language, those with autism, those with hearing issues, and other communication difficulties. The Lighter 3 has been reduced to 10 subtests, so total test time administration is estimated to be 25 to 40 minutes. Within those 10 subtests, there are four subtests that feed into a cognitive composite score, two for attention, and two for memory. And any of those composites may be administered individually along with any subtests. The lighter three has a block and frame design that the original lighter had. This block and frame design has been found to be more engaging for students and also students with fine motor difficulties are more able to engage with the test. The Lighter 3 has been validated with students ages 3 to 75 and the Lighter 3 outputs growth scores which are good for tracking development over time. Another popular test is the Stroop Color and Word Test. The classic test in which words and colors are presented in a congruent condition and then words and colors are mixed in an incongruent condition and the time difference to say those different conditions is said to be a reflection of difficulties with executive functions. Advantages to using the Stroop are that it's brief, efficient, and assesses executive functions including memory, inhibition and organization. It's been used extensively clinically and in research, so it has a strong support. It has broad application with diverse populations, specific clinical groups and different cultural groups. It's easy and quick to administer and score, yet you can get a great deal of extensive clinical information. Another choice uh, to use the Stroop is the new nonverbal Stroop card sorting test. It has been found to elicit the same Stroop effect as the verbal version of the test, but is useful anytime you'd like a nonverbal test for many of the same reasons we talked about with the lighter. It's good for ages 3 to 75 plus and has a short testing time of 5 to 10 minutes. It has also been nationally standardized and so it has broad support in terms of psychometric. An excellent choice for the assessment of autism is the Checklist for Autism Spectrum Disorder, a short parent interview that can be completed in a long form and short form version. The CAST-D is DSM-5 compliant with viewing autism as a sp single spectrum disorder it has high diagnostic accuracy, up to 99%, even with comorbidity, and is good at ruling out differential diagnoses such as ADHD. 
Its short administration time means it's very efficient and an excellent first place to start when considering autism or even using as a part of every battery. It's good for ages 1 to 17, therefore it has a low floor age level, lower than many other assessments. We also offer the short form version of the CAS-D. It's taken the six most diagnostic questions from the CAS-D and shortened the assessment time even further, yet still maintains a very high accuracy in diagnosing autism. It has excellent reliability, both CAS-D and short form version, with more lengthy instruments. An issue that is certainly receiving a great deal more attention these days is that of internet addiction. We're finding internet addiction has many of the same biological mechanisms and effects as other addictions such as substance use and behavioral addictions, which is why you'll want to consider assessing for electronics addiction with every case. A great tool for assessing for all forms of electronics addiction, including social media, gaming, and internet addiction, is the Internet Addiction Test. The test comes in two formats. One, a self-report form for adolescents and adults. The other, a parent or guardian completed report form for younger children. They yield overall scores that can indicate presence of Internet addiction as well as severity. Another helpful part of the test is that it indicates what areas seem to be driving the Internet addiction. So, for example, if it's social avoidance, that would have a different treatment indicator than if it's worker school avoidance. Do you ever struggle to get kids engaged in therapy or to develop rapport? It can be difficult to sit down across from an adult therapist and just talk therapy for a whole hour. That's why therapeutic rapport can be developed with therapy games. Stolting offers a number of therapeutic board games and other types of games to get people engaged in therapy. One such game is Kids World. Kids World is a game geared for elementary to middle school students. It is a board game in which players work their way around the board. It could be implemented in group, therapy, individual, or family sessions. Players learn different therapy skills such as processing skills and coping skills in a fun and engaging way. After Time is a therapeutic board game that is set in the post-apocalyptic future. Players have to try to rebuild society through the choices that they make. This game was found to increase factors of wellness when implemented in a high school wellness curriculum. Stolting has a number of other assessments for different ages and issues. From the very youngest, our early childhood assessment, the Merrill Palmer Scales of Development for ages 0 through 6, to adults seeking vocational employment, our job system is good for adults with developmental and educational disabilities. The Atlas is a test of attention that links assessment and services. It provides performance assessment, reports, and observation and yields an overall treatment plan. The SCATTER, the Social Sexual Knowledge and Attitudes Assessment Tool Revised, is an assessment to estimate sexual knowledge, especially amongst those with developmental and intellectual disabilities. There's assessments for individuals with visual impairments or blindness. There really is a lack of other assessments for these individuals. This test the neuropsychological assessment of adults with visual impairments is an entire neuropsych and cognitive battery that can be given free of any type of visual stimuli. We also have assessments for auditory processing disorder and interventions such as books. Those are just some of our psychological assessments and therapeutic products. We're happy to work with clinicians to help them meet any of their assessment needs and to provide ongoing clinical support. Please feel free to contact me for any questions or if I can be of any help. Thank you.